Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I have a super awesome uh, modification video to share with you guys. Um, by the time you're seeing this, a lot of you probably saw my previous uh, shaman modification video and I hinted that I had another shaman. I had another project that I wanted to do and uh, that it was going to be even crazier. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that with you today. I'm very excited to do that. Thank you so much to my uh, generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So the other shaman, the other one that I was hinting at, is this guy right here. This is a recent exclusive through Knife Center. Um, and this guy's in S90V. Not my ideal blade finish. But, uh, you know, when I saw a, an opportunity to get a, uh, you know, a shaman that, a, another shaman that was not the base S30V version for a good deal, I, I uh, got to pay the exact same price that, uh, you know, uh, that Knife Center released these at. Gentleman uh, sold me two, actually, the XHP Color Shop exclusive and this guy for the exact same price that they dropped for, which is still really high, right? Um, but I was like, that's a good opportunity. I'm going to take that. Um, and uh, so... I had already, I already knew what scales I wanted to put on a shaman. I just didn't know exactly which shaman. So this was the, the one I decided for the second one. This is the gentleman here, uh, Metan Boss. You guys need to make sure you check him out. You probably saw me show this card multiple times um, in the previous modification video. I was so blown away by the quality and I expect exactly the same thing with the scales that I'm gonna put on today. And uh, I am uh, very excited <laughs> to share with you guys actually. The skills that uh, I'm not going to touch yet are, um, <laughs> these are uh, Zircotai scales, full Zirconium Timascus scales, meaning we have Titanium, Damascus, and Zirconium layered together. Uh, if you're wondering, yes, those scales are very expensive. The end result of this knife will be something that is completely and totally insane. Um, I am doing this for entertainment. Uh, I also really like the Spyderco Shaman, and here lately I've come to very much enjoy Zirkatai. Um, it's hard to get Zirkatai on uh, what you want, and when you have the opportunity, it is stupidly expensive. It adds absolutely nothing in the way of utility. It is purely decorative, very durable material, uh, but decorative. Um, and so I, I just want to let everybody know that I realize the utter insanity of what I'm doing here. Uh, I know that there are going to be people wondering, so how, how much do you have in that? Um, a lot. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's not even important at this point. <laughs> um, but uh, this is uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. Saw an opportunity. Fortunately, found a, a gentleman who makes incredible quality stuff. I did pay full price. I actually didn't interact with him at all before I ordered these. I, I rolled the dice, wanted to find a product that was made in the USA, you know, and have a real, you know, exchange where the person doesn't know he's sending it to a guy who's going to show it on YouTube. Uh, didn't want any deals or anything like that. Wanted it to be real. So, um, yeah, this is excellent. What I'm going to do is the same thing as uh, the last video. Uh, we're going to hyperlapse it, put some music on, and I'm going to very carefully install these scales. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started.
Oh man, this is just absolutely overwhelming. I, I cannot stress enough the quality of uh, this guy's work. This is, this is unreal. Uh, this came together exactly uh, exactly the same as my zirconium one, and it just, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, this is a ridiculous object. Like, I just, I know there's going to be that guy who's like, this guy's got more money than brains. <laughs> Did you hear what I said there? I said, this guy's got more money than, more money than brains. <laughs> this is an insane thing. And I am definitely 100% doing it for no other reason than just to, because I'm an insane knife enthusiast, because I love the Spyderco Shaman, because I love Zerkatai, because these two things exist and exist and can go together in the same universe like this, right? It, it can be a thing and it is, right? If you're wondering, is that the first one that exists? No, I actually copied uh, Scott, uh, Sierra underscore bound on Instagram has one with uh, a black blade. And I don't know what, I don't know if it's the CTS XHP in the black, um, but I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. Um, I wanna do that, but I don't wanna copy him exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, the only thing, I think I need to work on the centering just a little bit more. I can't tell if it's absolutely centered. I think it needs to go a little bit this way. I, I can mess with that, I do my paper trick, but. Oh my gosh, uh, these are, I mean, it's locking up completely and totally solid, oh yeah. And the action you guys saw, it's just, it's perfect. Uh, I cannot stress uh, enough, I, I've already said this once in fact, the quality here is just crazy. The Zerka tie, so, <laughs> I have three, I own three insane shamans right now and I will get them all out and we can compare uh, weight. So these are all of my, Project Shamans. Um, the one on the far left is in Cerakoted Titanium. The one in the middle is in Oil Slick Zirconium. The one on the right is Zirkatai, so Timascus infused with Zirconium. The Titanium one weighs 6.46 ounces. The Zirconium one weighs a whopping 8.5 ounces, which is ridiculous. And I guess this is going to be somewhere in between. That weighs about 7.27 ounces, so there you go. Um, you know, pe people watching right now, I'm sure you'll have, you know, if, you, if you're watching, it's a good chance that you like Spyderco knives, because I probably did something clickbaity like a Spyderco box and a thumbnail. Um, and if you like Spyderco knives, there's a decent chance you like the Shaman. So depending on who you are, you'll prefer, you know, one of these over another one. Um, I do also still have an, a regular Shaman, and I haven't decided if I want to do something with that yet. Um, I love all three of these. I love them very much. Personally, my favorite is the S90V with the Zerka tie. Um, and it's also far and away the most expensive. Um, these two are close. This one's a little bit higher than that one. Um, but all three of these are, uh, you know, they're, they're dealer exclusives. They all have weird steel. This has got 204P. This is XHP. This is S90V three different finishes and three, in my opinion, wildly different aesthetics. Um, and um, I, uh, I know this one's a crowd favorite. That's, that one's been around for a while. Um, I'm just, I, I kind of am at the point now where I like the Shaman almost as much as I do the XM18. And I have so many hinderers and I've done so many custom jobs with those things um, that I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so we can get the full knives on frame here or in, uh, Sorry, in in frame. Eh, it's right there. Does that turn them all like this? Yeah. Um, but I, I enjoyed make doing like custom builds with Hinderer. Um, and I'm not done doing custom Hinderer builds, not by a long shot, um, but I'm just, it's at the point now where the Hinderer knives were so hard to get and waiting for a titanium scale or something like that. And, doing, and I also kind of has have reservations about using like, you know, when it's a hinder to use parts from hinder. Um, but uh, with the Shaman, I don't have those same reservations. So it's, it's real cool to me that these um, Mettenboss scales are made in the United States. And the fact that they are in crazy, like he works with insane, he works with, you know, familiar materials for way less money. Um, but he also works with insane stuff. And the fact that he made stuff for the Shaman, I was like, oh man, 
I, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a crazy amount. Uh, but I, I really want to do this. It, I mean, it, it just looks like a lot of fun. It was, um, really scary actually installing those scales and trying not to scratch the, you know, scratch them. Cause I, I don't know if you guys can guess, um, these are going to be safe Queens, like all, all of these, and I'm not, not going to use them. Um, that's just, uh, if you don't know, that's the type of channel you're watching. I, I'm, an, I'm somebody who owns a lot of knives and I, I have a lot of knives that I use, but I'm also a knife collector and enthusiast and I definitely have knives that I don't use that I just enjoy for what they are. So these were fun. Uh, if you are new to the world of customizing knives, uh, this is not a way to increase the value of your knife. Uh, I, uh, I've dramatically devalued each of these by customizing them and I want to be clear about that. These builds are not intended, at, they're not like investment builds. I'm not expecting them to be more valuable now. I, I did this because I love the hobby, right? Um, it's like, uh, you know, it's like owning a cool car and then wanting to customize it. Yeah, removing the original parts will devalue it. But if you just love working on cars, you love customizing it, you love doing your own thing, then the joy that you get out of it, it really only matters to you, right? But I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that a lot of people like to do stuff like this. So uh, once again, seriously, this guy, I'm gonna link, uh, I'll link his website down below. Uh, make sure you guys, does he have an Instagram? I think he does. Well, I think it's Met, I think it's just Madden Boss on Instagram, but make sure you follow him, check out his website. Super fun, okay, that's it for now. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this uh, customization uh, and uh, just disassembly and, and, and modification video. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.